Hello kids, how are you all? So glad to see you again. And today we're going to do maths, okay? And something in mathematics which is very interesting. Why do I say interesting? Because this is something that you already know very well. Just we're going to go into the details of it. Before we start, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you two people, very interesting ones. Miku and Piku. <laughs> All right. Miku and Piku are two brothers. Okay. They are what? Brothers. In Hindi, we'll call Pai Bhai. Okay. Wherever they go, they go together. If they want to go to the mall, they'll go together. If they want to go to play, they'll go together. And they're always together. Twin brothers. Never leaving each other's side. Okay. Bhai Bhai. Now, in maths also, that is Bhai Bhai. Just like them. You know who are they? They are multiplication and addition. Yes, addition and multiplication, they are bye bye. Remember these bye bye. In future, I'm going to show you another bye-bye. Remember them also, all right? But these two are very important bye-bye, all right? Remember, addition and multiplication, both are bye-bye, okay? Both are brothers, okay? Now, how they are bye-bye, why they are bye-bye, we're going to learn that today, all right? Now, Tables, you must have learned tables from Pachpan say you've been learning tables, isn't it? All right. But right now, let's understand how multiplication and addition are pi by in terms of tables. Surprising, isn't it? Addition comes in the tables too. You wonder why? We'll figure that out today. Okay. Now, if you see, there is... Two threes are six. Okay. You say a normal table. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Two threes are six. All right. So what is the meaning of two threes are six? First, let us write it down in words. Okay. How do you write it down in words? Two threes are six. Remember, two threes means one three and two three. Two threes are six. So one three plus 1, 3 is equal to 6. Correct? Isn't it? 1, 3 plus 1, 3 means 2, 3's is equal to 6. So how many times have you taken 3? 2 times. And that is why you can also write as 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Now you saw how the addition came. 1, 3 and plus 1, 3. If you add both of them, you get 6. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Okay. We have 2, 4 is 8. Now, how do you write it in words? You will write it as 2, 4 is 8. Now, remember, what is the meaning of 2, 4 is 8? There are 2, 4 is. There are 2, 4 is. That is 1, 4 plus another 4 is equal to 8. Correct? So how many times have you taken 4? You've taken 2 times. And so you say 2 times 4. Alright? So in, my, in this table, you say either 2 3's are 6 or you say 2 times 3. Alright? Or else in this you say 2 4's are 8 or you say 2 times 4. Oh, and so did you see where two threes are there? There's multiplication. But over there, okay, though there's a multiplication sign, the brother addition comes along. It's hidden inside, but is always there inside it. Okay. And so two fours are two fours are eight. And two fours are has a multiplication sign. But there is an addition in that also. Okay. So, that's why we say they are bye bye. So, if I take the table, any table, for example, two times table. Remember, there's a multiplication sign. But, in that multiplication sign, there is 
addition also inside. You need to remember them. Okay, let's see another sum. Okay, that is four threes are twelve. All right, how do we write four threes are twelve in words? Four threes are twelve. All right, now four threes. How many threes? Four. So we have the first three plus the second three plus the third three plus the fourth three. Okay, so all the four threes will be is equal to 12, isn't it? 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. And 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. So how do we write it? How many times you took 3? You took 4 times. So how do you write it? You write it as 4 times 3. Right? And so, do you see, that is why they are called the times table. Alright? You take any times table. Okay? Yeah. You take five times. You take two times. You take three times. Alright? They are called as times table. So, if you multiply anything with that, for example, six times table. So, you say six twos are. So, you have to add two six times. So, if you say six sevens are. So, you have to add seven Six times, all right. So that is why they are called as times table, all right. So two times, three times, four times, five times, and so on, all right. That is why it means it's saying how many times I have to add. So that is why. Did you understand why in multiplication addition also comes, all right? And so right now. Easy homework for you, right? You need to learn your tables from 0 to 12. And the second homework is write down the tables from 0 to 12. See that you write it neatly, make columns, all right? And I'll be checking your work when you're done, all right? Okay, so that's your homework for today. See you, bye-bye. Hope you understood and you remember for your life that addition and subtraction are bye-bye. Okay, not this bye-bye, it's bye-bye, brothers, like Niku and Piku, right?